Good morning dear friends and welcome to the Lenten meditation titled Lent Forever. Many years ago a young western lawyer was having a tough time in his life. It was so intense that his friends thought it best to keep all knives and razors out of his reach. He questioned his life's calling and the wisdom of even attempting to follow it through. During this time he wrote, I am now the most miserable man living. Whether I shall ever be better, I cannot tell. You know who that person was? That lawyer was none other but Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States of America. Have you ever felt like you just wanted to die? I feel at some point we all go through a state of depression and the only difference being the intensity of the depression. Statistics say that 1 in 4 women will be diagnosed with clinical depression at some point in their life and 1 out of 10 men. Now this difference I don't think it's because men are more emotionally strong but I think this difference is because men are less likely to share their feelings are you in a state of depression well we may not answer this question in the affirmative and we may think that we are not depressed but just ask these questions to yourself are you sleeping and eating well do you feel like you are too busy at school or work how has your time with god been are you practicing regular spiritual disciplines like prayer time in the word worship and fellowship being in a state of depression we won't be doing the above as we ought to being depressed is something that we all go through and this is a phase that we need to overcome many in the bible did go through the stage moses while dealing with the demands of ministry and difficult people cried out the same in numbers chapter 11 verse 15 in second corinthians chapter 1 verse 8 paul talked about how in his ministry in asia he was burdened excessively beyond his strength and that he despaired even of living in matthew chapter 26 verse 38 Christ said before going to the cross that his soul was deeply grieved even to the point of death We also have Elijah one of the greatest prophets and spiritual heroes in the Bible who had a season of depression during it he cried out to God to take his life 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 4 Two things that Elijah forgot and we too seldom forget. After experiencing great highs, it's common to experience deep lows. Elijah had just had a major victory against the false prophets of Baal. Israel had repented of their sins and God had used Elijah to stop the drought. After a major success, dear friends, we are the most vulnerable. When continually overworking without rest, it is common to experience deep lows not only had elijah worked hard in confronting the false prophets of baal and praying for rain to end the drought but when it began to rain he ran 14 miles to jezreel then after elijah heard jezebel was going to kill him he fled 80 miles to bersheba after getting to bersheba and leaving his servant there which we find in first kings chapter 19 verse 3 he then traveled a day's journey into the desert verse 4 apparently there was no time to rest because soon after the day's travel elijah just collapsed in exhaustion and began to sleep verse 5 there is an old greek proverb that says you will break the bow if you keep it always bent this means if we are constantly living under stress and not resting we will ultimately break under the pressure maybe that was what was happening with elijah as well is it possible for us to remove this feeling of dejection remove this feeling of anxiety remove this feeling of depression well yes i believe few things if we continue to do and remember it will surely help us in doing that first remember you are a complex being we must always remember that as humans we are a complex unity of body soul and spirit because of this complexity the body affects our soul and the soul affects our body but my dear friends remember the god who has created you knows this he knows our innermost being Remember God loves your venting and sharing. Before God instructed Elijah, he asked him twice why he was there. Verse 9 and verse 13. Initially he just allowed Elijah to vent and share. Many a time when we vent out our thoughts and sometimes irrational emotions, people around us condemn us. But dear brothers and sisters, remember God loves your venting and sharing. Remember the way out is deep pursuit of God. Elijah 
spent 40 days fasting and then drawing near God on a mountain. There God spoke to Elijah and helped restore his thinking and sense of mission. Often to find relief from depression, we will need to pursue God in a heightened fashion for a season. For some, their battle will require them to keep a higher devotion to the Lord than their peers for the rest of their lives to maintain peace. If that is God's will for them, it is actually a blessing because they might never see God in the same way apart from such a battle with depression. Like God said to Paul, his grace is made perfect in weakness. For those few, God chooses to not remove the thorn in the flesh for a greater purpose. Fourthly, remember you need to be patient. Finding relief when battling depression often won't happen quickly. Sometimes a good night of rest and a good meal will be enough. At other times, we will have to practice all the above for a season. Maintaining our body, having good rest, retraining our mind in God's word, having good people to vent out and bear our burdens with us and in general continually pursuing and relying on God. In 1 Peter 5 verse 10 and 11 it says and after you have suffered for a little while the god of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore confirm strengthen and establish you to him belongs the power forever amen dear friends if you struggle with depression please know this morning that there is hope depression doesn't have to rule your life no matter what you are going through god is ready and willing to help you take your pain and not only take your pain but to turn it into something great can you join in this prayer along with me dear lord i come to you today to ask for help help me with the negative thoughts that occupy my mind right now depression has kept me trapped in a state of despair lord i need rest i give you my worry take it lord i accept your peace love and understanding help me to turn to you and not to myself help me to stop doing and start trusting help me to wait on your answers because i know that they are good give me wisdom hope and peace when in these times of despair amen